Welcome to On Tech and Gadgets, OTG. My name is Peter, your host for the evening. The first thing to talk about is Windows Commander, aka Total Commander. That is an alternative to the built-in Windows Explorer. Why I'm using my headphones, I have no idea. Um, I don't need them. So Total Commander is a small program that is very efficient. It's the first thing that I start when I start my Windows, keeping good track of everything you have. Uh, try not to lose anything. If it's photos or documents or videos, keep them organized as well. We can talk about the organization of files in another video. Uh, so without further ado, I wanted to present you 10 features of Total Commander. You only install other languages, it is recommended. Yep, folder is good. There it is. Feature number one. Layout. Gives you everything that you want to know about your files at a glance. Also is keyboard friendly. Using the mouse is possible as well. I'm gonna put an online keyboard on screen right now so you can follow my key presses. So what do we see? This layout consists of pane A and pane B, left or right, or source or target depending on where your cursor is. Moving the cursor between the panes happens with the key tab. From top to bottom in each pane you have on top it's the location and underneath is the path to that location. In this case we have drive G which is called data with the space information or the free space information. Then underneath we have the path and then we have a sorting columns overview and then we have the information for each of these panes. Sorting is happening by the name in this case but you can sort them by the file extension or type and then as well by size and by date. I usually keep one of my sites sorted on name and the other sorted on the extension. Here we go. Set it up to the extension. Navigating. Arrows, ups and down. Going into the different folders with an enter. Changing the drives for the two panes. Alt and F2 for the right pane and Alt and F1 for the left pane. Selecting a drive on your computer. Moving up and down. And on top you always read, of course, where we are. Outlining the basic functions like copy, move, edit and view. And all of them have keyboard shortcuts. This is an F3, F4, F5 and F6. Adding to our hive and then making a directory is the two other notable shortcuts. In this case, this is out on F5 and this is making directories F7. So let's say I want to make a directory right here, pressing F7, yeah. folder, there it is. And then I can enter that temp folder, I can copy that file into this new temp folder, pressing the F5, pressing OK, done, file copied. Feature number two, working with archives. Probably seen a lot of archives circling around the internet. That's because they save space. And sometimes pack, for example, a bunch of files together, which is also useful for collection. We have this zip file here, and if I'm in Windows Explorer right now and I try to open it, it's gonna actually open it in a new window with a new application that handles archives in Windows. And here, what's the difference is, is they can directly look into the zip file without actually manipulating it. You just see all its contents deep to each whatever folder it has and take a look. Extracting that file is as simple as just pulling it over from the archive in a few seconds. If we press space in order to calculate the other size we see that it's the same in both locations left and right. Selecting, by the way, is insert or space. Space, they're selecting space, 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 space. Insert. Insert. 
and we can use the mouse right button to select multiple. Feature number three is viewing files and F3 and F4 basically are these two buttons right here, view and edit. So let's see what we can edit here, a text file called license. So we press F3. Picture number four is comparing directories. For comparing directories, I can actually pretty much use this example. And note that I can even compare the zip directly here with this folder. So let's go compare. Comparing. Function called, it's called synchronized dears or synchronized directories to locations left and right. Subfolders included. So it shows now that these two are identical, which is normal because we copied each other. But if I delete, for example, that folder right here to the right side, and now I compare, it's gonna basically tell me that these files which I just deleted are missing into the right side. Pressing synchronize automatically will put them in place and make the two folders identical again. Checking it afterwards is completed this course natural. Feature number five, searching. Let's search for everything. Here we go, completely sift the folders and files of this directly. If we only want to show PNG files, that's it. Next function, FTP stands for file transfer protocol. And what we can do is we can connect to a distant server and basically have it as it is in our computer. There we are. If we are connected to a server where my website is, and we could just absolutely navigate through it in the same quick and fantastic way that the program offers. Looking at files here makes much more sense, of course. Next function, multi-rename tool. Now working with photos can be cumbersome because all the cameras store them in some kind of numbers and dates and the files don't have any names. Which so could be helpful to have a multi-rename tool for that purpose. So if I'm gonna go to my photos, on my network. There we have it. What we can do is we can replace or add with the multi rename tool. You search for P and replace it with a diesel. Next function is the background mode, which is super convenient when you're copying huge files, for example, and you want to do something in between. Let's copy something big. I put it in background and I can do whatever I want in the same time while this is copying. 
feature number nine, history. Well, in the history here, you can define this location as your favorite, for example. There you have it. Add calendar actually is a favorite. So afterwards, you can basically select it from here. So this is a list of favorites or my history where we've been so far. And the last thing I want to show you is the customization of the program. Going to the configuration, if you save the settings and the position is something that you should do, then we go to the options. In order for me to show you, I need to start the program as a administrator, okay, which I'll do right now. Second. There we have it. I usually don't need any button bars, by the way, even the middle one is removed. Then we go to display. I always keep the showing hidden files checked, because I want to see all the files. On the icons you can ch choose between an older and a newer version. Adjust your fonts the way you like them, by the size and everything. In this case I'm using a 4K monitor which is pretty big, it's like 40 inches. So, for me, number 9, Segoi UI Semi Bold works pretty well. On color, this is my color scheme, I usually put background gray so that I can have it a little suiting to the eye. Using inverted cursor is basically allowing to have this color, but I keep it just as skinned by Windows. Use the team. That's the standard. Seems much better. Looking at the tab stops here is good to adjust not to show all files and photos in bytes only because the numbers can get big. Packer and the zip packers is where you put your plugins for the archives. One more function I can show is where you can set up an external viewer instead of F3. So this was it for the review of Total Commander. Thanks for staying for the 10 features of Total Commander. I'm Peter RDG. Peace. See you next time.